It is a family disease, and the fight to end Alzheimer's is an everyday battle. Eugenia Welch, she's the president and CEO of Alzheimer's San Diego, is here along with neurology specialist Dr. Abraham Chung. Good morning to both of you, and thank you for being here. Uh, just talking to you about this in, in commercial break, we mm -hmm. hear Alzheimer's a lot, but really until you see it, mm -hmm. it touches your family, it takes like a whole different level. Yeah, absolutely. T tell us a little bit about your work and why you decided to get involved in this. Sure. Um, personally, I've worked with seniors since I was 16 years old. That was my first job. Um, and I've made it my whole career in working with people with uh, Alzheimer's and dementia. But just as you said, when it touches your family, because I've lost two people to the disease also, it's completely different. You know, you can think about it um, and understand it intellectually, but when it touches your heart, it's, it's really different. And that's what we're here to do is to support the families that are actually living it right now. I'm so sorry to hear uh, you know Thanks. about the the loss. I know that as year and year goes by, I'm amazed with the medical advances mm -hmm. that come with all sorts of different uh, diseases and, and illnesses. What is new in the research right now with Alzheimer's, doctor? Yes, there's still a lot that we need to learn about Alzheimer's disease. But what research has discovered is that um, in patients who have Alzheimer's disease, there are characteristic lesions found in their brains, the plaques and tangles. And what was found is that there is now a means of clearing away one of those pathologies, the amyloid plaques, which appears to help patients that have Alzheimer's disease. So for the first time, we have some really meaningful treatment that is available. However, it only seems to help patients when they're diagnosed early mm. and the treatment is started in the early stage of Alzheimer's disease, hopefully even before they get the Alzheimer's dementia in the mild cognitive impairment phase. Eugenia, can you take us through and just briefly give us an example, a scenario, what is that like to have a family member or to see Alzheimer's? What, what is that like? Um, Gosh, it's really hard to explain, but I think for me it's when you have that person who's known you since before you knew yourself. You know, they've known you since the time you were born, and then they don't anymore. And that's really hard, because it's that person that you have that connection with, um, and they're just, they're just, you're losing them bit by bit while they're still here, and it, it's very difficult. And the hardest part also is always trying to keep the person safe. You know, decision making becomes affected. And so being able to preserve the dignity mm -hmm. of the person living with the disease, but also keeping them safe and making sure their needs are met, it's a, it's a tough balance. You see, see that, you hear that story, and that's what we really correlate Alzheimer's to, you forget. Mm -hmm. But where would be the signs that you might start to see this when you're talking about early diagnosing, catching it early to be able to see if any of these treatments would work? What would be the first signs of that to be able to check? I mean, are there ways to go to the doctor and be screened for this? That's a very good question. Yes, there are screening methods that the doctors can utilize to diagnose patients early. But the important thing to keep in mind is that different people have different experiences. Mm -hmm. So the disease may start early in life or late in when life. When you say early in life, you mean? Typically the diagnosis is made in patients who are 65 years of age or older. Mm. But some people do get diagnosed even earlier than that. And so the most uh, prominent aspect of Alzheimer's disease is memory loss. And what makes things difficult is that with normal aging, Everyone has like, some degrees yes, of memory yes, impairment. Yes, absolutely. And so it is important to be evaluated by a doctor, to go through proper screening methods, to clarify whether what we're talking about is age-related memory loss or a disease. Uh, Eugenia, I'd like to leave it with you for mm -hmm. anything you would say to families who may be watching right now, and this is part of their journey and their uh, moment right now. What would you mm -hmm. say to them? I think information is power just with anything and that's what Alzheimer's San Diego is here to provide is that support and knowledge um, and education and sometimes people don't even know what they need as far as support um, so I say for them to call us and we'll help guide them through it and to know that they're not alone there's a hundred thousand people in San Diego right 100, now. A hundred thousand in San Diego only? Mm -hmm. Diagnosed with Alzheimer's and so that's about 300,000 family caregivers. So you're definitely not alone and we're here to support everyone. And the scary part is that those numbers will get worse as the years go by. 
Well, we appreciate you stopping by, and it's good to know that there's a resource here. So we'll get the information up on our website uh, for our viewers, foxivesandiego.com. Mm -hmm. Click the seat on tab to get in touch with the both of you. Thank you for stopping by. We Thank appreciate you so much. it. Thank you for having us.